Hi there, and welcome to This Doesn't Make Census, Navigating the 2020 Census, presented by YWCA Minneapolis. YWCA Minneapolis is a mission-driven, nonpartisan organization committed to being a resource to the community for civic engagement and education. The census only occurs every 10 years, and it can be confusing, hence the title of this workshop. We want to begin by validating any confusion, fear, mistrust, or hesitation you may have about the census. We have put together this information and additional resources so you feel empowered to participate. There is no citizenship question on the 2020 census. Only the Census Bureau can access the information collected on the census, not the White House, the FBI, or ICE. Census Bureau employees are sworn to confidentiality under penalty of major punishment. Your personal data is kept private for 72 years until 2092 and is protected by federal law. Although the census collects basic personal information, the demographic data is de-identified and personal information like your name is taken off of the data when it is used for demographic statistics. We will now take a look at the census using the six descriptors of who, what, when, where, why, and how, so you have a deeper understanding of what it does and what it entails. Who is the census for? It's for everyone. The census was written into the Constitution for the purpose of counting every person living in the United States. This means everyone. Those in dormitories and apartments and houses, kids and adults alike, those who are seeking citizenship here, people who rent their homes, those experiencing homelessness, those living with family or friends, at all walks of life, everyone counts. We especially need to count populations who have been historically undercounted in Minnesota. These include racial and ethnic minorities, renters and those who don't live in traditional housing, people experiencing homelessness, native people, undocumented immigrants, people with disabilities, children under age five, snowbirds, non-English speakers, and low-income Minnesotans. The reason this is so important is that the data is used to determine the funding that community-specific programs receive. Here's an example. In 2010, children under age five were very undercounted, including by many families who did fill out the census but didn't include young children in their family. We need accurate counts of communities like children in order to get the right amount of funding for the programs that serve them. So what exactly is the census? The census is a short questionnaire to understand how many people reside in the United States. It is used to count you and any other person living in your household. It asks for name, age, gender, race and ethnicity, and address, and for anyone else who's living in the same household. The census is a tool for democracy and political engagement. The census was written in the Constitution so that the makeup of the people in this nation would be reflected in the makeup of congressional representation. It is used to decide state and local representation as well as where federal money is spent in our communities. The first census took place in 1790, and it has taken place every 10 years since. The census is one of the biggest ways we can shape and influence our government and what happens in our neighborhoods at federal, state, and local levels. When should I fill out the census? As soon as you can. It's a quick process. The Census Bureau has been sending out information and invitations to respond for several months, and people could begin responding on March 12th. April 1st is Census Day. The goal is for as many people to complete the census on this day as possible because the questionnaire is meant to get a complete count of everyone based on where they live as of April 1st. For missing and incomplete census forms, follow-ups will happen by census takers, also called enumerators, by phone or in person through late August. Where do I complete the census? Wherever you'd like. There are three options. The first is by completing a mail-in paper form that was sent to you. These were not sent to all households. The second is to complete the census online. 2020 is the first time it's available and it's a simple online form. The third is by phone by calling the Census Bureau. There will be more details on each of these in a couple of slides. So why should I fill out the census? What does my participation do? There are two major reasons why it is important to fill out the census. The first is representation for our communities. State and local counts from the census decide how much representation we get. In 2010, Minnesota cities lost city council seats due to undercounts. This year, if we don't accurately count all Minnesotans, we may lose a seat in U.S. Congress, going from eight representatives to seven. Less representation means less say in the decisions that affect us. The second reason is funding for our communities. Minnesota gets $15 billion in federal funding each year. 
This funding adds up to just under $2,800 per Minnesotan per year, or $28,000 per Minnesotan per 10 years. This is federal funding that goes to our infrastructure like roads, to programs like children's health insurance, and to decisions like what languages government services are translated into. An accurate count is important because this data is what will be used for 10 years. If our state and neighborhoods are undercounted, those undercounted numbers will be used for those decisions. The reason why the census collects personal information like race and age is so that demographic specific programs are adequately supported. This is important to us at YWCA because of our mission to eliminate racism, to empower women and girls, and to promote peace, justice, freedom, and dignity for all. Think about the issues that matter to you that are decided by our elected leaders. Filling out the census gives us equal representation. Think about the services and programs you rely on in your community. Filling out the census is that much more money allocated to those things. This is why it's such an important tool for democracy. You can make a big difference by being included. All right, so the final question is, how can I actually fill out the census? If you received a paper form in the mail, you can fill it out and send it in. If you'd like to respond over the phone with a census taker, you can call 844-330-2020, displayed here on the screen. And to fill out the census online, go to my2020census.gov. Most households were sent a letter with a unique code to enter online when filling out the form. If you can't find your code or didn't receive one, you can just go online and fill out the census no matter what. There are language guides available to assist with filling out the census. Fill out one form with answers for everyone in your household. If you live with roommates, you will fill out one form together and demographic questions will be asked of each of you. If you live with family, you will fill out one form, including babies and kids. For the question on race, there are various options available to select, as well as an area to write further details about your racial or ethnic background if the descriptors listed don't feel right to you. You can leave some questions blank, but know that an incomplete form may result in a follow-up visit or call from the Census Bureau. On this slide and below, there are links to some additional resources about the Census for you to use and share. The Census is continuing to hire several census takers to help ensure complete counts in our communities through August. The link with more information is here as well. You can also find additional resources from the Minnesota State Demographic Center and from the Federal Census Bureau. We hope this presentation has given you a deeper understanding of the Census and its importance for our communities. The State of Minnesota has a number you can send Census-related questions to over text message. 662020. You can also call the Census Questionnaire Line at 844-330-2020. And please feel free to reach out to us at any point with additional questions that come up. YWCA Minneapolis is a resource for you and we are happy to answer questions about the 2020 Census, upcoming elections, and state and local advocacy. We look forward to continued collaboration to eliminate racism, empower women and girls, and promote peace, justice, freedom, and dignity for all. Thank you.